Hey y'all, I'm Corey Ashton and welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm really excited to be back and I'm excited to talk to you today about the Divi theme, of course. But today we're gonna look at how to create a global pop-up. I'm gonna put a link below to another video that I've done that teaches you how to go install this plugin and how to use this plugin kind of overall. It's called Pop-Up for Divi. But I had a great question asked to me by one of my viewers that said, how would you do this if you wanted to have the pop-up called throughout the entire website? They basically said, do I have to create this pop-up on every single page or can I create it once? Well, we always like to work smarter, not harder. So let's do it, y'all. I'm gonna show you how to create this pop-up inside of your global footer and then be able to call it absolutely anywhere on your website. I'll show you how to do it right now, step by step. All right, so this is the example site that I want to build out this global pop-up on. And basically when you scroll down here, I wanna put a button right here that says, watch our video. And when you click on it, I want it to open up a video and play the video right here on the website. But I might wanna call that video to play on other pages. What if I jump into our about page and maybe I want that same button living right here that again says, watch our video, right? And we want it to pop up here on this page. Well, I really don't wanna keep building a bunch of pop-ups, especially if it has the exact same content. So I'm gonna show you how to do it again, just using that one global setting we're gonna go into your dashboard. Again, remember that this is running on Divi, so please be certain that your Divi theme is completely up to date. You wanna go down here to Divi and go into Theme Builder. I'm already running a global footer. If you're not, it's okay. You can go ahead and activate this area on your Divi theme, but remember that this if you do activate this, it will overwrite what you currently have, right? If you look at the front side of our website right now, we've got um, this global footer happening down here. So we've got this section with our copyright living down here, right? So that's our footer. And because I want this pop-up to function on multiple pages, we can actually embed it in the footer. And then it will appear everywhere, exactly where we need it to appear. So let's go into our global footer, open that up. And because we're activating the plugin that we already have in here called Pop-Ups, for Divi, right? Remember, I've got that video. If you haven't figured out how to do that yet, I've got another video to show you how to do that. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna add another section at the very bottom, okay? We're gonna add just a regular section and we're gonna put a one column in there because all we want is one video in there, right? Of course, you can do anything you want in this section to make it a pop-up, absolutely anything you want. But I'm gonna go ahead and click check for now. There's our video living in here. Of course, you know how to change this. That's just your regular module, Divi module for a video, right? So you can change it any way you want. You can add your own video. You can add it in from a link on YouTube or just your regular video. So for now, I'm gonna leave it this default one for now. But here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna click on this section, go into the gear icon, open this up, right? Remember, now that we're running pop-ups for Divi, there's this extra tab that lives right here called pop-up. And we're gonna call this general pop-up. This is a pop-up. And we're gonna give it the ID of video, okay? That's all we're gonna do. You need to remember what we're naming this. We're gonna name it video. Pretty easy to do. You have different behavior options here. You can customize it however you want, but for now, I'm gonna leave it just as is and click OK. Now that's changed this whole piece right here to be just a pop-up. It won't actually display because we've got it saved now as a pop-up. It won't display down on the footer. It'll only display when it's opened up as a pop-up. How cool is that, right? So I'm gonna click Save, save all my changes, exit out of here. Again, click Save Changes. Let's go back to the front side of the website right now. I'm gonna click Refresh and let's Double check to be certain that that video is not just down here visible in the footer of our website. And it's not. There's the end of our website. So thankfully it's not visible there. 
So let's go ahead and add in the button that's now going to trigger that cool little pop-up here. Let's go to Enable Visual Builder up here at the top. We're gonna enable it. Scrolling down, we're gonna use the button uh, module inside of Divi, right? We're just gonna add another button here. Add a module, we're gonna add a button. That button is gonna say, watch our video, right? And on the link now, okay, on the link for the URL, for the button, we're just gonna do hashtag video, right? Um, and I'm gonna change the design of this button just a little bit, I'm gonna move it to the middle. The button itself, I'm gonna use some custom styling for it. We're gonna say white on that, I like that. That little rollover effect is kinda cool, so I'll just leave that as is. Click OK, and we're gonna go ahead and save everything. So you remember that the um, the purple button right here is our save button, right? When you open up that little truncated area, click save. And now your change is live to Divi. I'm gonna exit the builder now so that that button is actually clickable for us. Scrolling down, let's see if that button now lives there. There it is, watch our video. Now when we click on it, our pop-up happens perfectly. All right, so that works now on this page. But what if we wanted to add it over into our About page? So let's click on About, jump in over here, and say that we wanted to add in that same button right here in this section. I'm gonna enable the Visual Builder. If you wanted to, you could use a global button right now, really, if you really wanted to get really, really genuinely global. Um, but for the sake of ease and for less complexity, I'm just gonna go ahead and do Button, and we're gonna do Watch our video, right? And you remember the link to it, right? The link was just the pound sign with video and click OK. And I like that placement, kind of left a line there with that text. I'm gonna click Save. And remember, we didn't go add that video to this page. You really don't need to because it lives in our global footer. So when I scroll down now, scrolling down, there's our button. And if I click now, it's still gonna work because this page has that same footer living in it, you know? Kind of cool, huh, y'all? All right, y'all, I hope that helped you. If you're interested in learning more about the Divi theme, I have an entire playlist here on my YouTube channel. And we have live Divi meetup groups literally around the world. I'll put another link in the description box below. We have our next meetup even tomorrow. So if you're interested, please come join that. It's totally virtual, totally for free. You can jump in and be a part of the conversation, get some of your questions answered right there in real time with me. If you're not here in the San Antonio area, of course, again, we're hosting it virtually, so you can certainly join, or you can find another Divi Meetup group maybe in your direct area. All right, y'all, I'll see you next WordPress Wednesday. Hope you're off to a great start this year. See you next time. Bye, y'all. Thank you.